Hello everyone, I welcome you all towards my channel and today we'll be discussing about how you need to prepare for different entrance exam of different colleges. For example, like colleges like Christ, Symbiosis, St. Joseph, IIMs or it could be international wide colleges. If you're going to apply, then here are a few important tips which I would like to share with you and I request that you practice it on a regular basis so that your pacing of clearing at entrance exams becomes very easy. So I know that many students have this common question about how do we prepare for entrance exam. It's very simple. Your first step is about selecting a college. So once everything is set, how we need to prepare for those entrance exam, I'll be telling it over here. My name is Pavan. As I already said you before, I've trained over like 700 plus students in terms of interview preparation, even in terms of entrance preparation. Majorly I was doing it over the long period of time, I've even written a book. So based on here and there of intense reading of mine as well as connecting towards my students, I'm going to share with you seven important tips. Point number one, that is about know the exam format. Whichever college you want to apply for, that particular college ka course you need to open and try to see what is the entrance exam syllabus they are going to give it to you. For example, each college is give logical reasoning or you know current affairs, GK and so and so. So first you need to identify what is the syllabus. You need to buy heart it, okay? Or take a book and write down the entire syllabus first and take it and keep it in a set. Very simple. What is the first step? I said you to write down the syllabus and keep it in one set. That's called as understand or know the exam pattern. I say this always. Before you want to go to a war, you need to know your enemies. It's as simple as this. If you want to go and clear your entrance exam, know exactly who's your enemy. Okay, that is your syllabus. <laughs> but, and you can make those enemy also as your friends. Now, second important point is about create a study plan. So now, after my syllabus is ready, every day I'm going to dedicate one hour on the subject. Every day, two hours, I'm going to dedicate on these two subjects. For example, my logical reasoning is bad here. My uh, mental capability of thinking, you know, general knowledge is bad. So yes, I have to dedicate more time over here. So here is a part where you need to divide among your strength and your weakness. So you need to divide partially on your strength as well as on your weakness region. Whichever is your weakness region, you need to refocus and realign and regroup. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now you're going to write down. You have to write down, okay, today I have one hour. So early morning, as soon as you get up, you're going to write down, today one hour I'm going to spend for this. Last two hours, I'm going to spend for this. Revision is the must. So before sleeping, do a revision. Third important tip is use study materials. See, study materials, you can refer a book or it could be online or there are many free websites. You no need to spend money also. Or there are many reasonable uh, people also who provide very less amount. You can even approach them and get the materials and start reading regularly with multiple amount of revision. So get the study material. This is your third important tip. Fourth important tip is check on the previous past year question papers. It's very important. Those college ka past year question papers or if you don't get it, at least talk to the students of those particular college and ask them, can you please give me an uh, past year question papers so that I can start practicing. Now the fifth important aspect is you can join a coaching center or not. That is up to your choice. I'm not telling you that you should join or you should not join. It depends on your own interest, your own niche. If you feel it is good, go ahead. If you feel it's not required, you can study by own, then go ahead with that. It's as simple as this. Now, sixth important aspect is take a mock test. It's very important as that. So you take a mock test and you start practicing. There are different institutions. You can enroll for them and you can tell that, sir, I am preparing for this entrance exam. Please do provide me a mock test this way. We will pay for you. Or sometimes they won't uh, take the amount also. They can give it for free. So there are many online websites also which do that. You can even approach on that. And seventh important aspect is while preparing for entrance exam, I know I was there in your path. I have struggled the way you have struggled before. Stay motivated. Or uh, you know, watch some positive, uh, you know, positive motivational videos whenever you're getting dried up. And when you're feeling that, okay, you're not able to study, just tell yourself, yes, I can do it. See, if you don't help yourself, nobody else can help you. Because there are very less people apart from your parents or your loved ones who really care for your growth. So it's important of your duty to come out of it, break all the shackles and bring the best version out of you. So here's a small request. I kindly request all of you to make sure that you utilize this opportunity to the best. Utilize this opportunity to the best and start preparing for your entrance exam. That's all for today's video. If you do like it, please do like, share and subscribe and do let me know your views in the comments so that 
I can even make more videos like this and help you out. Catch you all for the next video. Until then, goodbye.